I did some research on this topic before we would take this on this week and uh, I didn't find anything so you and I are going to explore it but I can tell you right now uh, if you're into a table saw with a blade this might surprise you it might scare you a little bit let's explore <laughs> Howdy folks, and the first thing I'm going to look at is, this is a surface gauge, and it measures one one thousandth of an inch. Every tick, little black tick on that dial is one one thousandth of an inch in measurement. That's like half of an average human hair for thickness, so it's a very sensitive, very old analog gauge, so it's not digital, yeah. <laughs> old school. This is a magnetic base to hold everything, and I set it up so that I'm measuring the blade and just checking it. And the first thing I want to show you is I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on the blade with my finger just to show you how much movement we've got. And you can see that right there. That's about five thousandths of an inch movement back and forth. Of course, I'm just putting pressure. If I pull on the blade with my finger a little bit this way, you can see the same thing. So I've got ten thousandths worth of movement right here with, of an inch just playing with the blade and the saw has you know really good bearings really good shaft nothing's loose nothing stupid also not plugged in so stop typing on that one but the idea here was to show you how much how just the slightest amount of pressure and that blade is off a little bit you know and it's I'm moving it all over the place obviously you know now the other thing we could look at is the blade rotation itself which uh, as I'm rotating it here, you can see it's kind of, you know, it's very, very, very uh, two, three, four thousandth sort of movement. There's paint on the blade and stuff that we're gonna be running into and we're actually seeing some of that, you know, up there on the uh, scale. So the blade's pretty good. The whole discussion was uh, heat and cold transfer to a blade when you're using it for cutting and stuff and how much blade warpage you could get and I thought I would start here with just measuring the blade before we get into the heat thing. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to do the heat thing because I've got, I've got one of these right here, but I don't know if we're going to be able to read because usually uh, any kind of contact like this, generally you sort of want the product uh, not moving. So what I'm going to do is try it two different ways. We're going to try it with the blade moving while cutting a piece of lumber and see if we get a heat reading and also I'm going to use the lumber to skid and break the blade and stop it immediately and again try to get a, an immediate heat reading and just see how much temperature rise we have on cutting something average like a, a one inch piece of uh, you know soft wood going through. Hardwood would be just simply hotter and certain types of wood could probably produce more heat than others. In fact I need some comments on what uh, what does produce the most heat when cutting on a table saw you know what what product it, it could be melanin it could be you know a lot of different products I'm sure but uh, we're gonna try just some basics like the soft you know the lumber the pine lumber type thing that we get from the big box store I think that's a fair you know a fair deal to just check that out it's about a hundred and something degrees in here right now so the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, measure the blade it's about a hundred degrees in my shop today the blade is showing uh, 93.2 93.2 degrees if you want that in Celsius, uh, Google it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not going there. That's where we're going to start. I need to shut this off so I can move it. Oh, there we go. And what I'm going to do, I think, first is just rub a piece of wood across this, run the blade, and heat it up, and just see what kind of temperatures we can uh, get to. So I'm not sure how this is all going to work, but uh, this would be a good way to, you know, start the experiment. <clears throat> and before I uh, forget, of course, uh, don't try this at home. I'm a professional. <laughs> all right, we're going to drag a piece of board across here and take a reading at the same time, and we'll see. I'm not going to be able to talk because there's going to be a lot of noise while all this is going on, but let's see what we got. <laughs>
quiet you. 109.4 degrees, so we picked up a little bit of heat, but that's not enough heat to mess anything up. Let's see how bad the board is. Yeah, she's got lots of little bits of burn marks on her. Uh, in theory, I believe the wood is getting a lot hotter than the actual blade. Uh, and at the same time, 109, 110 degrees on that blade is really, that, that's nothing, you know. But let's uh, let's try cutting. I'll see if I can go find a, something. Uh, well, actually, we could cut this even for that matter. And again, we'll take a reading and just see what it looks like. That's all. Huh. Okay. We're not getting the heat. All right. So this uh, pass, this this pass, I just ran uh, softwood and I ran some hardwood while reading. I also stopped the blade right after the cut and took you know a quick reading on the blade. And we we're only talking a couple of degrees uh, difference. The blade never really went more than 110 degrees, and that was. Well, as you saw when I was you know pushing in from the side trying to create heat on the blade so I'm gonna say the myth as far as blade warpage to heat is busted but I also have a message from the tool companies about this and I guess we'll we'll discuss that and then I think we'll go over to the draw because this is just you know it's interesting I uh, really didn't expect to see what I did see today Wow well, as near as I can tell, there's only one way to heat that blade up to see if it's going to warp. Yeah, we're not doing that. No. <laughs> gotcha. Okay, we're over at the bench here. Uh, I tried some more off camera. I could not get that blade to run up over 110 degrees. But now, mind you, this is at a do-it-yourselfer consumer level. I'm not trying to push, you know, something crazy through the saw like a hard piece of... Uh, maple or hickory or something and you know pushing and you know burning the motor out of the saw sort of thing and so i made a quick call and a fellow that's uh, involved in a uh, tool company whose name i will not say or the company who i will not uh, give out that information but uh, he basically told me that they spend thousands upon thousands of dollars each year researching metallurgy uh, he said that they blades are designed so that they can get warm, they can heat up, whatever, but they shouldn't warp over time. You know, that just should not happen. And you and I know that if we abuse things, we, we get other results, but that's not really the situation. What I was looking for here was how easy or how hard would it be to get the blade to, you know, heat up. Obviously, the wood burns, but the blade dissipates its heat so quickly that you really don't get a temperature reading on it, which is what was happening here. Let's get to the draw. And then, I, and then I've got something really sweet for next week for you. And anybody that's watched the show in the previous last few weeks even will know exactly what I'm talking about. But yes, as uh, soon as we get this over with, we'll pull out the, uh, the next offering for a draw uh, for next Thursday. And that's going to be an exciting tool. Please like, share, and subscribe before I forget to ask for that. I, I keep forgetting. So let's, uh, uh, let's do the Pro Saw first. I guess this is the pro saw, the protractor type saw. This can be used for uh, the saw set pro. It can be used for a lot of different, you know, checking and measuring of angles and things. It's a pretty cool, uh, it's a really nice tool to have around the shop actually. And I'm surprised there was a lot of interest in it. So uh, there was quite a, quite a few tickets, not a lot, but quite a few. Let's pull out a name here and see where this is going. And this is going to Oh, wow. Okay. I think this guy's gotten something before from me. Hmm. Tom in Quincy, Illinois. Yeah, Tom. Congratulations, Tom. <laughs> you, you got the, you're getting the Saw Set Pro. Now, we got to get rid of these tickets. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so, bingo. Okay, we're back. Uh, 
This is for the fan. This thing blows down on your face and helps you keep you cool. It's rechargeable with a USB. Very strange uh, looking item. Uh, if, you, if you're seen on the street, people will definitely think you're up to something. <laughs> I don't know. And uh, again, quite a few uh, people, so we'll throw the tickets into the bucket, we'll mix them up a little bit, and we'll see who gets this thing. Yep. Oh, man, it is 100 and whatever it is in here. I think I'm hotter than that blade is right now in here today. <laughs> uh, I tried air conditioning a couple of weeks ago, and it doesn't really, it's, it just didn't work. Uh, it brought the whole garage down to about 86 degrees. And then it just kept running and running, and I was like, okay, uh, we've had enough of that, you know, so I'm not going to do it. But uh, Bill in oh, Fishers, Indiana. I don't know, don't know the name, but Bill in Fishers, Indiana, you are getting whatever this thing is. Wow, it's weird. But yes, we're going to mail that out to you. And now, get rid of the tickets. So I'll be back again. Okay, we're back. Warm. This is the electric scissors. We did a review on them. Pretty cool, uh, interesting item. If you're into fabrics or cutting a lot of leathers or anything like that, I imagine that would save you a lot of the, you know, handwork or whatever. They were kind of fun to use. Uh, and like I said, I'm the worst guy on the planet when it comes to a pair of scissors. Oh. Oh. Let's see what we got here. All right. Oh, man. Oh, I've seen this guy before. But, okay. Here are you'll know who you are because I don't have his first name again so we'll just say is uh, KW you know who you are yet no okay you're in Orange City Florida and KW has received something off the show before so that's great I like I said I I don't mind I don't have a problem with that but let's put this up here and take a look at it man this is a cool item when we come back Wow are you ready for this? Yeah. This is heavy, so this is going to cost a few dollars to send this bugger out of here. <laughs> but it's a, it's a CNC high-speed router. Yeah, with all the all the goodies. And we got to take it apart and get it back in the box as soon as we figure out where the box is. But we've, we've been able to do this before, so we should be able to get this thing in the box so we can get it out of here. Love it. It's a very nice, very nice machine. For the for the price, I think it's a it's an awesome good starter kit for somebody that wants to get into CNC type work. So if you're into that kind of woodworking thing, or it can do some soft metals, aluminums, that kind of thing too, and it comes with a bunch of bits, so you're you know, you'll be in good shape to just plug and play almost. Let's get this thing ready. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna give this away Thursday. And again, one entry per household. <laughs> And I guess we'll stand over here, and first thing you're going to do is you're going to email us to ctrewards at gmx.com, which is right there. Okay. The subject line of your email should be CNC, which again I'll put right there. And then just Put your address in the email just as if, you know, name and address as if you were doing a postal return on an envelope. That's all we want. That's it. Just stop right there. <laughs> it. And then that'll all go into the bucket next week. And some lucky person is going to have themselves a brand new, yep, CNC uh, Com Grow machine at their doorstep until the porch pirates get a hold of it. That's, you know, yeah. It. But this is what we're giving away. So next Thursday we've got, wow, that's a nice machine. And I've got some really cool tools coming in. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, tools that uh, are going to be, I haven't seen this one before on the market. So when it comes in, it should be really interesting. And it comes with two different blade systems, one that cuts wood and one that cuts metal. And uh, the whole tool should be, should be interesting. I don't, not sure exactly what how this is going to perform, we'll find out when it gets here. We'll do a review. Uh, also have a, a, some other interesting topics and items coming in that we'll be uh, covering next week. But right now, between now and Thursday, you need to get your name in and get it over there to gmx.com and email us and just, you know, see if you can get yourself a CNC router, high-speed router machine. That That is a pretty, that's going to be a nice item.
<laughs> yep, Santa came early this year. What can I say? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I wish I had enough of these to give away to everybody because it's cool. We get a lot of cool comments, cool feedback. I get some a little bit of personal email, which, you know, we try to stay out of that situation, but we still get some really nice stuff in from various uh, folks that watch, and it's like, it's always appreciated. If you win this, I would like you to go down to the description below and at least order a coffee cup from my store or something. <laughs> <laughs> you got to see it, see. In the meantime, I want to thank everybody this week. It's Thursday and it is hot. And thank you so much for watching Coffee and Tools. And please like, share, subscribe. Like always. Oh, man. Over and out. <laughs>